Custom variables let you track data that you already have about your respondents by passing values through your survey link and into your survey results. Perfect if you want to track specific data about your respondents without having to ask for it in the survey. To create a custom variable, click the Design tab from the My Surveys page. Click the Logic tab and choose Custom Variables. The variable name is the piece of data you're wanting to track. So if you're tracking the names of your respondents, you could put name as your variable name. However, the variable name does appear as part of your survey link and it's limited to 50 characters, so consider shortening it if you can. The label is completely optional, but it appears when you're analyzing your results. This can help you track what information the field contains. For example, if your variable name is N, you may forget what that is later on, so your label name could be name. When you share your survey link, your respondents will only see the variable name, but when you go to analyze your results, you can see exactly what that means by checking out the label. Once you're happy, click Save, and if you want to add more, just click New Custom Variable. You can create up to 100 custom variables, but most browsers will limit you to 2,000 characters in a URL, so it's best to keep the character lengths under that. And if you can't save your custom variable, you may be using a word or character that you're not able to use. Try editing your variable name and save again. Now you're ready to create a web link and see your custom variables in action. Once you've created your custom variables, it's time to create a link to your survey. Click Collect Responses and then choose the Web Link Collector. Your custom variables are already built into the link for you, but they still need to be filled in for each respondent. It's good to copy the link and bring it into a separate document or spreadsheet. Then start customizing the link for each person that you want to send your survey to by deleting the brackets and everything in it, then replacing it with your custom variable. When you're all done, send out your links to the correlating people. It's not possible to automatically add values into the link or add values in bulk, so if you'd like to track custom data automatically, try using the email invitations collector instead. When analyzing your data, you can view any custom variables that you have by exporting all response data. From the Analyze Results tab, click Save As, Export File, All Response Data, and then Export. You'll see a column for each variable and label you created, and the relative answers match up to each respondent. If you'd rather analyze in SurveyMonkey, you can filter by custom variable. Click the Rules tab, click Filter, Filter by custom variable. Choose the one you'd like to filter for, and then type the words you'd like to filter for. When you apply the filter, you'll only see the data that applies to the words within that custom variable. Then you can get started analyzing your data within SurveyMonkey.